I almost feel like I'm in an alternate dimension when I see number 14, Matt Favola, and I see no number next to Benoit Saint-Denis. I almost feel like I'm in a parallel twilight zone because Saint-Denis has been on a run, bro. He's been on a run. He is being, we said, I'm, I don't want to throw that word out too, too um, frivolously. Marauder. We say it all the time. This is, this is a marauder. This is a guy that does that. But he's fighting a guy in Matt Favola, which I, a lot of people are saying, light work, easy work. You're going to eat your words if you take that approach because two brawlers go at it. Saint Denis is a little more durable. Frivola, though, he's a sharpshooter, bro. And he, he catches his shots at angles. Everything is timed perfectly. And if you come in too recklessly, one of these guys are going to bed. So first question here, does this fight go the distance? Does this fight go 15 minutes? I highly doubt it, Derek. I highly doubt it. And that's what I was going to hit on. That that precision, that that strike that the steamroller presents, especially against a marauder who's going to be pushing that pressure, who's going to be looking for the violence. All Matt Favola needs to do is take one little angle, step off to the side, crack you with the right hand. We've seen that this guy has power in his hands, but on the opposite side, man, Benoit Saint-Denis has that exact same kind of crack. He's able to get you down. He's able to hurt you. He's able to sting you and still look good and, and technical and fluid while doing it all. Man, this is uh, another one, man, where I'm just excited. I'm getting my popcorn. I'm sitting back. I'm happy to see these two doing it. And it goes to show how deep this 155-pound division is because you got the steamroll at 14. You got Benoit Saint-Denis not even ranked. This is wild because these dudes are going to be here for a long time. This is going to be a fun fight. The big difference here, though, man, is while they're both brawlers, I mean, a lot of people, I don't know why this hasn't been bringing into discussion, but we've talked about it before. Saint Denis submissions, I mean, 75% of his victories in the UFC, or I'm, yeah, I'm thinking the UFC, maybe in general. Apologies, I just have that number up. They're, they are by submission, right? So when you're looking at it like that, this dude's not winning by decision. He's knocking people out or he's submitting them. If he goes into that brawl, they're both brawling, slugging it out. Matt Favola no longer has the opportunity to be a sharpshooter if San Denis says, let me go for the hips, let me take you down, and let me start working my game that way, right? Oh, 100%, man. And you just go and you look back at the last four of Benoit St. Denis' dubs, Two of them knockout, two of them for submission. This guy can get it done in a multitude of ways, and that's what worries me for the uh, the Frivola betters right here. Steamroller. There's a need. There's a reason he is named that because once he gets going down with a little pressure, he's gonna he's gonna steamroll you. It's literally in his name. But when uh, the the fighter against him is able to control that just a little bit and have that extra hitch in their game where they're able to either stand up or get this fight to the ground and finish the fight. That's what worries me right there. If Benoit Saint Denis starts that downhill pressure, Derek, do you think it's completely over for uh, for Frivola, or is it, what does he have back to answer to that? No, I don't think it's over at all. I think Frivola, the thing that a lot of people don't know too, he could wrestle, bro. People don't know that he could wrestle. It's not like this dude is a one trick pony. Matt Frivola is a very skilled fighter, man. I just think that the one thing that concerns me more than anything is his ability to take a shot. And I don't know if he'll be able to take all the shots Saint Denis throws his way, given, I mean, and listen, you can't read too much into it, but if you get one, two pieced up, one hitter quitter against Terrence McKinney, literally just a one, two, it could have been perfect timing, perfect placement, all that good stuff. Weren't quite warmed up. It was the beginning of the fight, but both these dudes fight with a lot of energy and a lot of emotion. And I feel like that's got to take something out of you. So I'm really curious if this fight goes later, I'm not saying the distance, but I'm saying late second round early third like what are we going to see then because you can't see that marauder style anymore you can't maintain that it's just not realistic so my opinion on this one man is you have two brawlers but one is a little more of an educated brawler i would say that's matt frivola the other one is a brawler with more tools in his tool belt i would say that's saint denis and i'm going to go with the guy with more tools in the tool belt because no matter how intelligent how clever you are when they take away your opportunity to use your weapons, I mean, you're kind of at a loss there. So I'm going to rock with Benoit Saint-Denis. Uh, I like the minus 240, bro. I don't have a real lock on if this is going to be a knockout, a submission, whatever the case may be. But I will say I'm going to bet. I don't know what the over and under is. I'd have to look that one up, right? But I'm, I'm definitely going to bet that it, the under on whatever it is. Let's take it. You know what I mean? What do you what do you see into that? I'll look it up while you're talking. Not I would take the under as well, Derek, because especially um, the way Benoit St. Denis fights, I mean, his only loss in his last five was from decision. I believe it was against uh, Eliza Zaleski. Yup. And uh, so when that starts getting going, I think this fight has to go to the, to the, or it has to get finished early. Maybe not early, but round, round and a half. That's why I'm taking the under if it is there as well. Against the steamroller, though, man, when, when the chips are down, there's very few men that I would guarantee are betting on themselves. And that one of them is steamroller Matt Frivola. This is going to be a fun one, man. I don't have a lock for the prop because I do think it's getting finished either TKO or submission, but still, 
enjoy. Sit back, folks. If you're putting some money on it, good luck. But either way, enjoy this fight. It's going to be a blast. One and a half rounds is the over and under, AJ. So let me just give you the odds on that one. If you if you take in the under, it's minus 145 for the under. The odds makers like it. Plus 115 for the over, which that kind of entices me. That kind of entices me. I'm like, hmm. Who's to say? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But you heard the man, AJ, Bloody Water Podcast Consensus Pick, Benoit Saint-Denis, but do not sleep on the steamroller, Matt Favola.